I tend to say more through my poetry, so I'm going to get straight into it. I greet you all distinguished hosts, distinguished guests and attendees. For we all are distinguished, uniquely, intricately designed, created by God to be sublime. Our gifts, talents, cultures diverse, women, many of whose wounds have birth, champions and kings, queens, scientists, politicians, surgeons, homemakers, sports people, movie stars, philanthropists, heads of state, religious leaders, educators, restaurateurs and entrepreneurs, and the list goes on. But G100 has come not just to proclaim the acclaimed, but to elevate equitable opportunities globally for all women, not to focus on limitations or on limited things. So why are we here? I'm glad you asked. Well, the G100 Higher Education and Internship Wing greets you to a symposium that will share what our sisters have through history fought for, died for, and what we now live for. So that our voices can raise and shatter glass ceilings, shatter unconscious bias. <laughs> we know it's not unconscious, right? <laughs> <laughs> shatter gender pay disparity shatter the tick box equality that has no notion of equity shatter chauvinistic superiority shatter violence and abuse and disrupt an ideology that judges you and me and chooses only to see the pouting of our lips and the size of our hips. The narrative must be interrupted, must be disrupted, that does not address the seriousness of inclusivity, safety, and the economic and social empowerment of women globally addressing gender gaps and achieving gender parity. Our fight, ladies and gentlemen, will not be with dynamite, but our sound will indeed be explosive. Not with sensation, but with thought, leadership, and recommendations. And our voices will be heard with intelligent, evidence, precision, and clarity within this decade. As G100 influential, no-nonsense leaders meet equally influential policy makers, governments, corporates, universities, foundations, the UN, G7, G20, Commonwealth heads et al. Oh, and not at all discounting our men in denim. For all wear it, but it won't be to hide our pearls or to camouflage our femininity. Denim and pearls don't need to collide, neither need to step aside. But together, we must collaborate for our survival is intricately linked. And so our visions, dreams, goals, and faith demands an unusual but possible unity. We must set the bar for future sustainability. Yes, we must do our best. In a world that wants women to whisper, 
we must sound the clarion call for one and for all. I, for one, will lead an impact with love and thought-provoking poetry and end my poem saying thank you, God, for G100 and for all of you coming along and ask you to stand with me. I raise up my voice, not so that I can shout, but so that those without a voice can be heard. We cannot all succeed when half of us are held back. Thank you.